Let us now get into the third topic of this session today. In this session, let us see how the strategic management in India, how the corporates have improved themselves in coming out with various decisions of strategic management. In India, the abolition of public sector monopoly or dominance of public sector monop monopoly has reduced. This has given rise to a lot of new players, private players, people, private entrepreneurs who want to set up business, they have come out as a competitor to the monopoly uh, governmental uh, institutes that have been working or that have been present in, 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 in India today. So when this has happened, the advantage of the private sector is that the better fund flow that is available, better competitive products that are available from these private entrepreneurs. So the monopoly is no more available. So because of this, there is a better strategic decision in order to compete with the global products, global companies has also started. The delicensing strategy in 1991, the Narsimh Rao government when Manmohan Singh was the finance minister, decided to come out with the LPG policy that is the liberalization and also uh, the particular policy of LPG helped various foreign companies and foreign institutes to invest in Indian market. So this was very, very important because globalization took place as far as this particular um, uh, situation in 1991 was concerned. India started moving forward because of the delicensing where it was easy for the foreign companies to get into Indian market and to strategize in various aspects of sales and profitability as far as Indian market was concerned. The scrapping of the most uh, scrapping of the most part of the MRTP Act and providing restrictions of MRTP Act became very very important because the Monopoly Trade Practices Act was scrapped and there was a restrict the restrictions were removed hence more companies were able to come forward more products were able to come into Indian market lifestyle of people started changing, lifestyle started improving as far as the people were concerned. The liberalization policy towards foreign capital and technology also helped in bringing foreign capital into Indian market, new technology into Indian market because of the new technology, new products were being designed and new products were being marketed in Indian situation. Products which were not available till then in Indian market started flowing into Indian market because of this particular uh, advantage of liberalization policy. The grant of more autonomy to public sector enterprises also became very very important because when they had the autonomy they were able to strategize the interference from the government started reducing for the public sector so they also started competing with the private sector when they started competing with the private sector there was better competition better products available in the market apart from this we also have seen the way we also would like to see in this session or in this topic the trendsetters in Indian economy. They are what are the trendsetters? How did they set a trend in the Indian economy? The first thing is developing a learning organization. When I say developing a learning organization, the organization started to move itself forward and in the process started learning better and innovative techniques. They also started improving, implementing the total quality management. What we say as TQM today is the total quality management. When they, when they looked at total quality management, the product became better. The, the product quality started becoming better. We have different elements or different characteristics for a total quality management. They are a customer driven definition of quality. So p companies instead of looking at what they want to sell, they started looking at what is the requirement of the customers? What is the quality that the customers anticipating for a value of money that they are paying for a particular product? Strong quality leadership was another very important aspect of, of total quality management. Emphasis on continuous improvement, innovation, improvement on the product, trying to improvise on the features of the product was another very, very important aspect because emphasis was given on this particular improvement totally. Reliance on facts and data and analysis. Till then, there was no analysis or proper analysis done on the facts of the data that was collected or on the product that was collected. Encouragement of employee participant. Yes, employees were motivated. They were involved into decision making. When they were involved into decision making, the participation started for the employees and they started becoming motivated as far as the product was concerned. Environmental analysis and total quality management has a relation. 
What is the relation between environmental analysis and total quality management? Now, when an organization wants to come out with a total quality management, the important thing is that they need to analyze the environment. Keeping in view what is the analysis of environment, they will be able to implement the total quality management for the organization as well as the product. If the environmental analysis is not done properly, it becomes very difficult to implement the total quality management for the organization. Apart from this, organizational decision and the total quality quality management also becomes very very important if if the management of the organization is not in favor of a particular decision or not in favor of a particular level of quality to be maintained in a particular product then the organizational decision hinders with the total quality management and the performance of the product and strategic formulation and total quality management there is a relation between these two because when you want to formulate a particular strategy you need to keep in mind about the total quality management or the total quality aspects that you need to provide to the customers in the market when you understand that the customers require a particular value for a particular product based on that particular aspect you formulate a particular strategy which will suit the needs of the customers or when you formulate that particular strategy the customers are drawn towards the particular product because it provides the total quality management that is required at the same time the strategy also talks about the quality management that is present in that particular product and apart from the strategic control also becomes very very important evaluation becomes very very important and globalizing the operations of the total quality management or globalizing operation also becomes very important for the organization so formulating a strategy to go, go global and also to operate globally becomes very very important for the growth of the organization to move forward for better performance of the organization it is important they start globalizing their operations